doctor has sore muscles, so what does he use? He uses homemade hot cold pain rub. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Hi, I'm Sherry and this is Buddy, top dog of Lucky Dog Creations. Hello friends, today I'm going to be doing another DIY muscle rub. And this one's going to be a hot cold muscle rub. You know, kind of like on the same order as Icy Hot but this is going to be homemade and it's going to be natural. So let's get started, shall we? The first ingredient is 1 4 cup almond oil, or you could use olive oil. I'm choosing almond oil because it is clearer and that will make the, the rub itself a lighter color. Almond oil keeps skin cells healthy. It retains moisture and makes the skin feel smooth. 1 4 cup almond oil and I'm going to go ahead and just pour that in this bowl here and then we're going to take the oil and put it on a double boiler over low heat and heat it up okay so it looks like the oil is heating up so the next ingredient is two teaspoons of red pepper flakes and red pepper flakes eases cold symptoms it relieves pain and ease skin issues it is also part of the hot part of this rub so two teaspoons of red pepper flakes. And then we want to turn the stove down to very low heat. So I have it on low. And we're going to go ahead and let it double boil for 30 minutes. Okay, so you want to do this until the oil is slightly red and that it smells spicy. So it is, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in this measuring cup through the cheesecloth so to strain all of the red pepper flakes because we just wanted the infused oil. I am not going to have you watch me do that because I'll probably make a mess. So there is the red pepper flakes on the top and there is the oil. So we'll just discard the red pepper flakes. And we go ahead and put the infused oil back in the double boiler. And we're going to add one tablespoon of beeswax pellets. Now beeswax is antiviral, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. It seals in the moisture. And, but mostly we're going to be using the beeswax for the consistency we need for the rub. And one tablespoon beeswax. And we'll go ahead and let that melt. Okay, so you want to make sure it is fully melted. If the beeswax is not completely melted when it starts to cool, you will get the little clumps of beeswax. And also you want to make sure that you um, hurry up and get everything in there before it starts to set up. Now you can add one teaspoon of vitamin E oil. What that will do for you is um, it will extend the shelf life. Uh, normally this will last about three months, but if you add the vitamin E, it will actually, um, the shelf life will be about a year. And it also has benefits as well, you know, moisturizing benefits. So one teaspoon of vitamin E. And if you use a lot of this, you might not even have to add that because you might use it up in the three months. Now the hot part of the rub, as I said, was the red pepper flakes and also cinnamon and clove. And then the cold part is eucalyptus, peppermint, and then we just throw in lavender for the calming effect. So let's hurry up and get those added and I'll leave a description of all the benefits of the essential oils down below. Okay, so the first thing is gonna be 10 drops of peppermint. And that went out really fast, so I'm sure it's about 12. 10 drops of lavender. Ten drops of eucalyptus. Ten 
five drops of cinnamon. And I had trouble with that the other day. And five drops of clove. And then we'll go ahead and give it a stir. You always want to use something that you don't want to eat with to mix it up because the wax will leave a residue on that. And then we have a two ounce metal tin here and this should fill that up completely. And we'll go ahead and pour that in there. and put the lid on right away and then let it cool. And you want to store this in a cool, dark spot. And it will be back after it cools to see how it turns out. And just a, a quick tip, this sets up and, and then it has the waxy residue from the beeswax. You don't want that going down your drain because it will clog the drain. So before you wash it, just wipe out as much of the wax as you can and then you can go ahead and wash it with soap and water. Alright, let's check out the finished product. And there you have it, a nice rub. Let's check it and see how well it works. And you just want to get a little bit and just rub it in on an effective area. And it's nice and smooth. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notices of my future videos. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments and suggestions are always welcome. Thank you and I'll see you next time.